Okay, PFT has officially touched down in Qatar and made it through customs. He's currently in an Uber on his way here. Actually, no, he says he's here. See a car? Oh. All right. We made it. Welcome. Doha. What's up, buddy? Now is all. Yes. How's it going? <laughs> Doing great. Thank you so much. Happy to have moved into this place. Yeah. It's way nicer than the shipping container. Thank you so much. Okay, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can I introduce you in a welcome shot of Jack? As is tradition. Uh, the, in the ancient Qatari tradition. <laughs> yes. Yes, again. Guitar, Kid Rock. Handshake. <laughs> welcome shot of Jack. That's... That's not a shot. All right. <laughs> that is not... <laughs> you okay, Donnie? <laughs> um, no, I'm not. I'm actually, I'm finally starting to adjust. I mean, is this even a shot? That's like two and a half, three shots. Uh, do you know how to say cheers in, in Qatari? No, I don't even know how to say thank you. In Wait, hang hey, before we do it, let's look Also, up. I think Qatari is is Arabic. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, I'm pronouncing it like the video game system. Oh, yeah. Like a <laughs> I'm sick. I'm sick at Palmer on Qatari. <laughs> Fi Sahatika. Fi Sahatika. Fi Sahatika. Fi Sahatika. Oh, let's have a nice chug of Stella Blue coffee. I brought a brand new full glass of Stella Blue with me on the plane. Mmm, Stella Blue coffee, the best coffee in the world. This trip brought to you by Stella Blue. When you can't get a beer, Stella Blue will do right. you just fine. Listen, when I'm out in the desert, Donnie, and I've acquired a king's thirst, nothing will hit the spot like a nice hot cup of Stella Blue. Now that we were jacked up on Stella Blue, it was time to give PFT a taste of local culture. So PFT, you've been in Qatar for like an hour and a half. How are you handling the culture shock? Well, no, I mean, this is what I love about traveling, Donnie, is you get to experience different cultures, see what the world has to offer. What's that travel influencer quote about experiences? Take only pictures and leave only footprints. Exactly. So many people in America are like, I'm afraid to go overseas, I don't want to try new things. Variety is the spice of life. This cheeseburger is really good, let me get one of these chicken wings. Try ripping a cigarette and then taking a bite of the wing, it adds like an umami. They call this uh, Qatar style. <coughs> you alright? <coughs> I'm good. Okay, he's good. No, Johnny, I'm so glad that I'm over here with you. Thanks for coming out. I don't plan on doing any MDMA over here because I value my life. But, you know, besides that, like, if I'm not doing MDMA, really spicy chicken wings, beer and cheeseburgers will have to do. Yeah, dude, I went sober for 24 hours and then I had a beer and it was like doing MDMA. It's just good to get out of, out of the United States for a while. You're only here for like 48 hours. You got a jam schedule for you. I can't wait. All gas, no brakes. We smoked one last indoor hoon, then left Champions Bar, as we had been invited to a party at the Four Seasons, being thrown by Colin O'Grady, the first person to ever walk across Antarctica. DFC comes to town, they fucking roll out the red carpet. Where was this for me? We went out to the big cut off. We went out to the big The party was already jumping, but PFT decided to crank the vibes up even more by taking off his belt and starting a limbo line. A fucking limbo belt! Yes, every time! The energy in the limbo line was so infectious, it didn't take long before I decided to give it a go myself. We decided to stop while we were ahead and head back to get some rest, as tomorrow was Thanksgiving. This is PFT 
Tuesday's first official day in Qatar. We had a lot of plans, but they all got thrown out the window. As PFT and I had finagled an invite to a hospitality suite at the Cameroon versus Switzerland match. Yeah, if a guy is like, hey, I got a box, you wanna come in it? I'm and always look like, look at this yeah. stadium, that is a box. If I've ever seen one. It sure is. We don't we didn't even know where we were going. We just got up this morning and we just naturally started finding our way here. It's like moths to a plane. The sky boxes are the only places in the stadium where you can drink. I think they yeah. go for around twenty-seven thousand dollars a pop. It's pretty good. So that probably comes with an open bar, right? I think it's open bar in there and it's uh, you know two incredible countries, Switzerland and Cameroon, a fierce rivalry like the Ravens and the Steelers of soccer, throw out the record books when Switzerland and Cameroon get together. I gotta be honest, Donnie, when we're walking towards something that is so large, you don't really feel like you're making much progress. No. I feel like we've been walking for 30 minutes. I need some more Stella Blue coffee, to be honest. I know, it's too hot out here. I gotta go for a nice piping hot, steaming mug of Stella, Stella Blue. Blue. We've been told to find a guy who looks like this and he will have our tickets. So just like, keep an eye out if you see anyone who looks like him. He looks kind of like Big Cat. Yeah. Guitar Cat. Any second now. Get in there. Oh, look at these guys. Whoa. When FIFA gave the World Cup to Qatar, uh, nobody knew that it was going to be 120 in the summertime. Yeah. A little oversight there. And uh, their solution at first was just, we're going to air condition the entire country. And, and then they, they have the oil to do that. I actually believe they, they like light oil on fire for fun out here. That's how plentiful it is. It's like a, a pastime of theirs to just make a big swimming pool full of oil and then drop a match into it. Isn't that what Iraq did when they like lost the Gulf War? They're like, yeah. well, you're not going to have our oil. We're just yeah. going to set it on fire. They, they burned up all the oil fields. But that was just for fun. That was just because Saddam was saying he, he liked to party. Welcome, 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 welcome. You are all welcome. Thank you. 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 No, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let him win, PFT. Okay. All right. Let him win. He kicked my ass, and you're welcome. I love that guy. What a nice fella. All the staff here has been great. I don't know where they're from. They're they're definitely not from Qatar. There are a lot of people from Africa. A lot of people from like Bangladesh, India, Pakistan. But they've all been super friendly. Yeah. Somebody told me yesterday that. Uh, if you see somebody that's working, they're not from Qatar. Qatari people don't work, they just have money. I mean, that's such a flex. I mean, again, enough can't be said about what a tremendous job the Amir is doing and the uh, committee for the delivery of legacy. We're actually staying in the Amir's box. Well, I heard, Donnie, that we were doing such a good job promoting Qatari tourism that the Amir reached out directly. And he said, hey guys, I'd love for you to come inside my box. We got the president of FIFA right over there. The Sky Suite was sweet, and while it was the only one that didn't serve alcohol, as it really belonged to the Emir. It did have a full buffet, which would make for a very memorable Thanksgiving feast. The scallops are delicious. Oh, no, no. Oh, sure. Macaroon. Send my compliments to the chef. Thank you for this Thanksgiving feast. First one away from home, actually. Oh, that's a nice goal. Oh, oh wow. I mean, tap in. He was... Funny how we're watching it on TV when <laughs> the stadium was literally right here. <laughs> You had told me five years ago that you'd be dining for Thanksgiving feast with the Amir, or at least in the Amir suite, I would have said. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm pretty good at kissing ass. Yep, bend it. Bend it. Oh, no. Hey, Michelangelo, we got a... Uh, oh, sweet. Stella Blue. Again, thank you to the Emir for 
for hosting us. Ooh. Didn't even see the cheese fries. I'll have to I'll have to eat those next time. Ooh, this looks actually, yeah. This looks awesome. Oh, good, good. Thank you. Wow. So you guys are uh, Barstool Sports, huh? Yep. Is Barstool Sports popular uh, here in Qatar? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Is it really? Cool. Yeah. Please be the English. Please be the English. Huh? Yeah, well, please. As long as we, I can come home with one with a draw, I'd be happy with a draw. Wow. On our way out of the stadium, we somehow found ourselves in the midst of a giant Cameroonian parade. Great job, line. That's the best way to leave an environment ever. I'm gonna be so disappointed everywhere we go where there's not a drum line walking out. We just got out of the Vagina Stadium. We were guests of the Amir. It was very cozy and warm in there. It was wonderful. A little damp. Uh, the humidity was high. Grass was a little bit long, but still a great game of football. Incredible food. I grabbed a uh, some sort of fruit tart on the way out. Very good. <laughs> Forgot I had a zin in my mouth and I almost choked just trying to get the Zen out, but I, I did not swallow the Zen, so that's a personal victory. Keep very close to swallowing a Zen back there. Everyone in the hospitality suites gets a special gift, so it's, it's time, time for, for a cutter cut unboxing. unboxing. It's time for a cutter unboxing. It's time for a cutter unboxing. Let's see what's in the box. box. Oh, DHS. wow. No, it's a... Uh, it's a weapon. No, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, a steel plate, a commemorative ticket. Switzerland, Cameroon, Al Janoub Stadium, Group G, Match 13. Oh, Who nice. could ever forget? One last shout out to this stadium. I guess it was uh, designed by an Iraqi architect. I just learned that. Oh, wow. And um, yes, it, it, it looks like a vagina, but a vagina is one of the most beautiful, natural structures on the planet. And strong, too. That's why I don't like when people say pussy as a pejorative. We all come from pussies. Pussies are the strongest thing ever when you think about it. Yes. Oh, I'll say, check this out. It's the flower of life. <laughs> <laughs> Just guy stuff. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave, Stadium. <laughs> How many beers? I got a good one. I'm going to start calling him Tim Mir. Like the goat, Amir. <laughs> Yo, Amir, you should actually turn that into a hashtag. He is him. Who is him? Amir. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Oh, here's the ringleader right here. Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, Uber, this way. Taxi, over this, this way. way. Wow. Yay! That guy's doing it all natural. A lot of the people this have way. those things pregame to repeat, but he's just saying that over and over again. Oh, beautiful squat form. No, First you. one I've seen on this trip. That was the You're Welcome guy from earlier. Yeah. yeah. That guy's great at his job. Okay, we are here at the Souk Wakif. It's the oldest, most traditional market here in Doha. And we're gonna get some throbes. 
That's their traditional garb. I think it's th Thobes, no arm. Thobes, Thobes. Like robe, but yeah. TH instead. All right, we're getting, we're getting Thobe. Ooh, they got an Argentina Thobe. Oh yeah, this guy knows Thobes. Oh, the Thobe King. Hello, sir. Do you have any USA Thobe? Or just, all right. Okay, Qatari Thobe is fine. Size me up. How's the ice cream? Tricky. No card? Oh, damn. I have US dollars. How many USD for this? $53. Okay. I'm feeling good. How do I look? After having a wonderful afternoon on the Amir's dime, I feel like it's only right that we appreciate his culture. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, yeah. Can I have one too? Yo, this dope, dope. I mean, that, that looks very comfortable. It, do, it does feel comfortable right now. Up. Maybe you can even rock the part of my take hat over it. That's a lot, that's a lot of patterns. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, my God. oh shit. Holy what shit. a wild time to run into PFT. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that's right. Dude, just, just, are you getting a thobe? Huh? Are you getting a thobe? No. Oh, okay. You have to sure. now. Should I? Yeah, yeah. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to the game tomorrow? Uh, yeah. We're but, bringing home a tie tomorrow. I came all the way over overseas to get a tie. We're bringing a tie home. I appreciate that. Small world. Oh, small world. Are you guys in school again? No, no. <laughs> I, I do a podcast. He does, yeah. That he yeah. listens to, I guess. Eight best fan in the world. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm surprised he recognized you in your thobe. No, I think it's... I, I thought you were Probably the Amir himself. I was trying to think of a cool like pun with thobe, but I just couldn't. I failed. Yeah. PFT, that's... You're going to have to think of the thobe pun. Thobe pun, okay. Uh, Thobe Trotters. Thobe Trotters, yes. There you go. The Harlem Thobe Trotters. Yeah, I like it. Hey, you guys want to protect your hospitality tickets. Yeah. Like the jackpot. Oh, well, yeah. It's the only place we, you can that's what I'm Unless you're uh, in the uh, Amir's private suite, which uh, is where we watched the game today. Yeah, I'm going to watch it today. We watched it with the Amir. No big deal. Well, in, his, in his box. He was there in spirit. Yeah. Looking good, boys. Hell yeah. Thobe Trotters. What's up? I think that's the only fun possible with those. Right? Yeah, I think that, that's the only one we need. Yeah. Here you go, sir. For you? Uh, here you go. 99? That's 100. Is it, you like it? Yes. It feels very comfortable. Is yours called a soap too? This is, no, this is uh, Abaya. 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 All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. No! Sorry, no! sorry. Yeah. Cancel it. Cancel. Yeah. Cancel. Rule number one in any Arab country, never film Arab woman. Should we get in front of the thumb? Yeah. I think this is the thumb of God. I rate this thumb five stars. <laughs> five balls, actually. It's on the, it's on the grenade ball scale. How hard does this go? <laughs> All right, we got our thobes. Now it's time to head to um, a beach festival. Dude, I was I was thinking earlier today, like, let's go see French Montana in yeah. thobes. <laughs> French Montana, we're coming for you. Hey, Donnie, you are so beautiful right now. Wait, take that back. Delete that footage. I can't okay. say I can't say that to you here. I'm gonna be honest with you, PFT. I have no idea where we're going. No. Or where we are. I'm just kind of following the crowd a little bit. Yeah. I would love to get a pack of cigarettes. That would be great. I feel like there's a really good chance we all get separated from each other now. Like, I have no idea if that's PFT or not, or just like a local. Is this PFT? Is this PFT? Is that PFT? Wait. Hey, PFT. Oh, nope. Oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I was waiting yeah, for yeah, yeah. Keep the shades on, because the moment you take the shades off, you're just going to blend in. Mexico! Let's go! Mexico! Come on! Tu hablas espanol? Yeah! Tu tienes cerveza? No! Oh, no? No, no, no. no cerveza? Alright, that's good. I don't drink. Let's get a pack of cigarettes and grab an Uber. How does that sound? That sounds great to me. Okay. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Left hand side, down here? Yeah, maybe down here. Let's see. 
This place is a maze. It is. Oh yeah, this is nice, wide open spaces. Mm -hmm. Sir, do you know where I can buy a cigarette? This is a spice market. The perfume. All that? Let's get Jerry down here. <laughs> yeah. Look at the Arabian. <laughs> yes, yes. Where's the camel? I don't see the camel. Oh no, there's a giant camel back there. I, actually, what people should do is just walk up and down this hallway repeatedly, and then you just get the free perfume. Uh, yeah, I think he said go down here, and then you take a right. A right back there? Yeah, yeah, no, this seems like a Hoon Road. Okay. Those are cool. Ooh, wow. Is this where we were before? Are we walking in circles? It smells great. It does it. You just stand here all day. I smell everything except for six. Maybe ask him. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we got you a know Broncos where I can man. buy cigarette? Denver Broncos. All right, let's Straight. go, Russell Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. That way. Okay. Let's go. Football is life. Football guy over here at guitar. I love that. Ooh, is this the candy shop? Oh no. Okay. Some pumice. I'm out of pumice. You know what? I bet you they have. Viagra tea here. Oh yeah? yeah? We don't need anything that's gonna make us like more sexually attractive. We need to like lower our sex appeal right now because right now it's like dangerously high. You guess I'm gonna bring it down a little bit? Yeah. Um, Just take a cold shower? Uh, I'm gonna ask him. This guy knows a, a hoon if he's... Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Salam Aleikum. Aleikum Salam. Do you know where I could buy a cigarette? Oh guys, we found a Hoons? hoon vendor. We're on the hoon? Trail the hoon? The Hoon Trail. Oh yeah. Supermarket. Let's go. Whoa, it's popping in here. Wow. Hello, Hi, sir. Hi, Hi. Don't film any females, Michael. Do you know how to fold this thing up? Uh, I don't, but yeah, mine came undone too. I don't know, you gotta have one. I think maybe we got some, some cheap thobes. These thobes ain't loyal. It still looks pretty cool. I'm sure the guy selling us cigs will be able to also. To help uh, us, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. I've been meaning to get some laser white donkey milk. <laughs> donkey milk. Yeah, what's donkey milk? They're for face. For face? It's yeah. good for face. Whitening, yeah. Whitening? Whitening? It's white face. Uh, yes. I don't, I don't know if I want to do white face with donkey milk. <laughs> I mean, I will. <laughs> it says it's got powerful antioxidants and energize. Do you guys take a credit card or? Yeah, we take credit card. All right, they take credit card. We're getting some donkey milk. You want to get some donkey milk? Yeah. All right. Two packs of cigs and some donkey milk? Uh, and a lighter too. Oh yeah. 80 mil, sir. All right, great. Put that on the Bank of America. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. They'll understand. Yeah. <laughs> this fits in right with my normal purchases. Donkey milk for the boys. So do you just rub the donkey milk on your face? Yeah, yeah, full face. All right, okay. cool. It's standard donkey milk, dude. Don't ask all these questions, they're embarrassing. Let's grab an Uber. Yeah. Yo, I just got an email. What's up? <laughs> because no one is going to the Beach Fest, our tickets have been upgraded to the VIP lounge. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, everything's coming up us right we now. We just got a free upgrade to the VIP lounge uh, at the uh, Ketafan Beach Fan Fest. Now, do you think that French Montana is actually going to be there? <laughs> he did. Catafon Beach Twitter posted a video of French Montana going like, yo, come party with me at the Beach Fest today. Oh, that's nice. So he is he is in Qatar. Okay. He may have just said fuck it and left by the time we get there. Yeah. But no, he seems like a night owl. I don't think he'd back out. <laughs> no, he would never. He's not the kind of guy to do that. I feel bad for whoever uh, French Montana's guy is that has to bring in all the drugs that he needs into Qatar. All right, we are good. We got Hoons. We got a free upgrade to the VIP lounge at this French Montana concert, and we got Thobes. Nothing could be better right now. I'm just, I'm a little concerned that it, the Thobe, the, the headdress part of it, keeps it, it keeps coming undone. People are gonna know that we're not legit. Where from, my friend? Anyway. America. Remove this one. PFT was asked to remove his headdress but only because the guy wanted to fix it. You from uh, Saudi Arabia? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Oh, Thanks. gentlemen. <laughs> like Saudi, no? Because... What's that? No. Like Saudi? Like Saudi? Okay. Yeah. Oh! All right. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Pleased to meet you. Can you fix Thank mine you. too? 
Oh, sick. Thank you. Donnie, they're, they're fixing it Saudi style. All right, yeah. Yeah, but Saudi style, not uh, yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference? Yeah. Because uh, maybe Qatar uh, uh, white, not, uh, not red. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's different. we are personal like, friends like with the Emir. One. Is that like going to be a problem? Oh, cool, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is... Saudi style? Yeah, Saudi yeah. style. All right, well, you guys beat Argentina. You must be doing something right. Yeah. BFT, I don't know if the Emir's going to be happy about this. Yeah, yeah, it's happy. No problem. Don't okay, worry. he is? Don't worry. Okay. Oh, right. oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Saudi style! We, Donnie and I have gotten ourselves into a bit of a pickle because we're, I think we accidentally got the Saudi Arabia color headdresses instead of the white ones, which are Qatar. All right, well, the headdress is only like 10 bucks a pop, so we can always- We can get another one. People do seem to like it. Like, they like seeing Westerners wearing their traditional clothes. They are comfortable. They are super comfortable, and to be honest, I think I look pretty good right now. All right, do we know where we're going? No. Okay. Um, I wanna find the Uber pickup area. There's the thumb. Wait, is that the same thumb? Yeah, wait, that has to be the same thumb, right? That's the same thumb? Wait. Everybody has two thumbs, so maybe it, it's... The left it, and the right? No, that's the same thumb. I got an Uber. It's over here. I mean, I loved it. What's this place called again? Soup. The Soup. I love the Soup. I love the name, especially. It sounds like you're gonna go see a guy. Like, you got a guy like, I'm gonna go down to the, down to the Soup real quick. It sounds like you, you know somebody that's making it happen. That place is great. Tons of solid restaurants, um, some really reputable Thobe dealers, tons of spices, uh, the freshest donkey milk a man can get this side of the Persian Gulf. So, I mean, I think that was 100% uh, a success. You know what, we might even have time for one hoon before this Uber arrives. I hope they have bathrooms at this beach festival. I'm really dealing with an issue here. I've been fighting it for two hours. Now I'm about to sp spark a hoon. That's not gonna help things. And you got the thobe, which if there is an accident, you're not hiding shit in that. <laughs> it's probably the worst thing you could actually wear. Because everything would just fall. It would be bad. I'll just put it that way, it would be bad. Wow. That was an assault on the senses, but um, I'm glad we did it. Yeah, it was actually a pretty cool place. It's kind of weird having that many people together all completely sober. Yeah, Isn't and that it? just had like one Sports pub, I would, I would be there all the time. Like usually people aren't around each other in that close proximity unless there's beer. Luckily, the next place we'd be going would have plenty of beer. Prior to arriving in Qatar, I uh, booked me and PFT tickets to a French Montana concert at the Catafon Beach Festival. We arrived. I don't know if that French Montana concert is going to happen. I don't know if he's here right now. This place, it's an exclusively populated concert stage. Let's put it that way. Plenty of good seats available for French Montana tonight. Yeah, I think he just like saw who showed up and was like, nah. A country, as you were saying earlier, that doesn't allow alcohol or cocaine or premarital sex. Premarital sex seems like a, I don't know what he'd be able to rap about. But they gave us a free upgrade to the VIP lounge, which it comes with a, a free buffet. So I brought us a lot of food. Okay. This is a slice of the margarita pizza. Oh yeah, look at that. My Nona used to make it just like this. It's a pretty significant dough to cheese ratio. It's almost like you're eating a, a not a cheesecake, but a cheese cake. All right, let's not beat around the bush. This is the worst piece of pizza I've had in my life. Now, while I was up there, I think the dude could tell I was American. He goes, hey, we have mashed potato and chicken. So, Thanksgiving treat. Yeah. All right, happy Thanksgiving. The mashed potatoes could use just any salt. I'm a man that likes to have less than zero salt in my mashed potato. Um, well, we also have some, um, I think this is like Chef Boyardee, you know those little microwavable things? Yeah. I think they just, they, they put that in this, if you want to try that. That's cheesy. Another tremendous success by the Amir, we, this mac and cheese. This is classic Amir. You can tell that he, he approved this menu himself personally. His fingerprints are all over that. This is a, a hundred out of ten. Another resounding hit for the Committee for Legacy and Delivery of Guitar. Mmm. 
That's Imrilicious. Thank you for the hookah. What flavor is this? Mint lemon? That's meth. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, meth flavored. You can really, you can taste the Sudafed. Yeah, this is hidden. Watch this. The French inhale for French Montana. That was sick. All class. That's how you know you got the high score. <laughs> high score on the vape cloud. Seeing I'm the one who booked the tickets, I think it's up to you just to like confirm whether or not French Montana will be performing. Uh, yeah, I'll check, I'll check. And I'm sure he will perform, I'm sure it will be great. Is French Montana going to go on stage? Yeah, on start at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock or midnight? I've heard both. Nine? Nine o'clock. Okay, all right, cool. We have uh, conflicting reports. Okay. The lady said that he was going to go in at midnight, and then the gentleman who appeared to be her manager at the same time said 9 p.m. And then she gave me this look like, uh, I guess 9 p.m. But I, using the powers of deduction, it sounds like he might be running late. He was only about 15 to 20 minutes late to Dave's pizza review with him. Um, so that bodes well. He might only be 20 minutes late to this concert. We'll see, somewhere between nine and midnight. Let's go Ghana! Yes! Yes! You know, are you? Yeah. yeah. He plays for Assad, Qatar here. Oh yeah? Yes! Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow! He equalized the goal for Ghana. Oh wow, let's go! Where are you from? Assad. USA. 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 Yeah. Wow. USA yeah. will lose also, no problem. Tomorrow, USA will win. No. Tomorrow, USA draw, but today, Ghana will win. You are blessed. Yes. You are blessed for saying so. Let's go, Ghana. We were enjoying the World Cup action, but PFT was shook he couldn't get the Bills game on, too. You have the game on your phone, right? No, I can't get it here. Kadil's lost it out here because he's a dictator. Unlike the Amir, who would come hell or high water to make sure this game was on Every time I try to watch it, it puts me on the CBS Evening News. This has to be some fuckery it, it's, it's by the Sheik of Dubai, because the Emir would never, would never yeah, do that. You're right, you're right. This, this, this smells like foul play. It so smells like foul play. He's trying to. Uh, yeah, I know a skunk when I smell one. I offered to try and rectify the situation. I was just wondering, would we be able to get the Buffalo Bills game on? One of the TVs? I don't know. Uh, I am from Tisha only. What? I am from Tisha only. Oh, you are in charge of the Shisha? Yeah, only. She was the Shisha girl. She is. She, she didn't know. There's like 30 TVs here. I'm not. I'm not being over dramatic. I just want one of them on the Bills. Hello, sir. Would we be able to get the Buffalo Bills game on one of the TVs? Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Buffalo Bills versus Detroit Lions. Rawr. Yeah, I see Lions. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if like one one TV could could be on could be on the Bills game. Yeah. Uh, do you know Do you know American football? American football. Uh, it's American. Would you be able to ask him if he could put the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions on football. one TV? Uh, Amer Americana football. No, no, no I'm, 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 not, I'm not on the Bills or the Lions. I was just wondering if I could watch the game. Excellent, my man is a waiter. So oh. what you would need to do is talk to one of the girls in the brown suit. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and yep. they'll be able to scare you away. Thank you, man. All right. We're looking for a girl in a brown suit. Ooh, is this a girl in a brown suit? The, the funny thing is when I'm wearing the shades, everyone looks like they're wearing a brown suit. Do you work here? Yeah. Do you think one TV could be put on the Buffalo Bills versus the Detroit Lions? Oh, I have no idea about it. Uh, it's American football? Um, NFL? I don't think so. It's a FIFA now. It is FIFA. Yeah. I was just thinking, you guys have like 40 TVs. I'm just, I'm just asking for one. I don't think that they will change the channel. Yeah, I, I knew it was a tough ask. Yeah. Well, thank you for at least entertaining the possibility. <laughs>
This is FIFA. But it's the Bills. Did you tell him that there would be a turducken? many. I did not mention Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, sh I should have pulled the race card. If you had said that there would be a turducken, then maybe they would have done different. Turduckens the don't translate. The car the turducken, um, hey, let's fucking appreciate our time with the World Cup, all right, PFT? Oh, Stop am, fucking I'm checking sure. ESPN updates. Let's enjoy Serbia versus Brazil. These are two world-class football teams. The Bills are going to be back next week. Yeah, but... I would still like to watch the Bills on Thanksgiving. Listen, you got fucking, we got a Thanksgiving meal in the Amir's suite, followed up by fried chicken and mashed potatoes, all you can eat buffet on the beach, and you're still fucking gonna hold a grudge because you can't watch the Bills on Thanksgiving. All I'm saying is that if, they, if the Amir knew that it was blacked out here, he would be so upset. He, Roger Hill's lucky really deep in that I'm not telling mostly. the Amir about this. He's lucky. have been at the French yeah. Montana concert now for how long? Has it been five hours? Yeah, five or six hours. They, they said 9 p.m. I knew I knew that was cap. It's 12.05. Do you want to make a wager? Over under 12.30. I'm taking the over. I think it's going to be close, though. in the house, I think they mean he landed at the Doha airport. Which Montana is in the building? The more they say that Chris Montana is in the building, the less I believe that Chris Montana is in the building. The over bet is going to hit 100%. Oh, it's a good go. It's actually Macklemore! I can honestly go for a Macklemore show right now. He comes out, he goes, in the first grade, I thought it was gay. He gets caught immediately. <laughs> the DJ started playing French Montana songs. But there was still no sign of French himself. in the book. I say French, you say Montana. That means he's coming on any second now. He did not come on any second now, and the over hit with ease. What time is it now? <laughs> but right as we were starting to lose hope, Coke Boys flashed on the screen. Coke Boys! And we knew it was about to go down. French Montana was actually in the building, and it was glorious. I was having the time of my life. PFT, on the other hand, was deeply troubled by some of French's lyrical content. But I finally got him to loosen up, and I think he actually ended up enjoying himself. Fantastic evening tonight. I mean, French Montana, everything. <laughs> Dude, there's no way to cap off a Thanksgiving better than a French Montana concert. It's everything I wanted. Like, hearing guitar, if you think about guitar, you think about Coke Boys, Slab on My Knob, Molly and Aquafina. Molly and Aquafina hit all the right notes. This guy, he's a, he's a metaphorical speaker. No, like when he was talking about fucking everybody's bitch, he was just actually talking about business. Yes. Taking and your oil. I'm actually just shocked that he got two customs. Well, dude, what a capstone on our first Qatari Thanksgiving. Uh, I hope it's not the last. I, I hope we celebrate many Qatari let's, let's Thanksgivings. Make this, let's make this an annual thing. I hope the fact we celebrate more Qatari Thanksgivings isn't because we're not allowed to leave the country. No, but, no, yeah, you're right, good point. Yes, but if, if we are invited back for another Qatari Thanksgiving. Every year I'm hoping to get Qatarded. 
Tune back in Monday to watch PFT and I help USA secure the draw of the century against England.